there's going to be a lot of girls watching this and they're going to be watching your guys' transformation. The biggest thing is to show girls out there that we're not perfect. The change starts from we think. There's nothing to me that ever said, you can't do it. You know what, you should just start now. So your transformation, not only physically, but also mentally, is the biggest thing that we're going through. So as we noticed, um, that training is not just physically, right, Stace? Mm -hmm. Um, it definitely starts with the mind first, and that's what we're going to recap first, and that's what our article is that we're going to read, is going into actually tuning into our mind, and that is the most powerful component on actually transforming who we truly are and what we want to get as far as our goals. I'm stressful, and I think I have the habit of putting others above myself, so my focus is to start putting myself first and working on that. I got divorced. I was 40 pounds more than I am nowadays, and I was very unhappy. I was in a long relationship that ended up being really bad, 14 years, and I was about 45 pounds overweight. I've lost about 45 pounds with Nita's help. Um, I was in a big mess when I did meet her, and I was kind of lost, and I didn't think much of myself. Uh, I guess, so high school I struggled with a really bad eating disorder. I was like, I'm like normally, you know, like 115, that's like a normal weight, but I dropped down to like 98 pounds, so like very small. Um, and I really want to like be strong, like I know how to get thin, but I don't know how to like be strong. Mm -hmm. So this like new program hopefully will show me how to like change my mentality to keep weight off in a healthy way. <coughs> and not just like jump to like easy way out. So. The body, like everything else in life, is a mirror of our inner thoughts and beliefs. Every cell within your body responds to every single thought you think and every word you speak. You miss 100% of the shots you never take by Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> Number two, nobody can go back and start a new beginning, but anyone can start today and make a new ending. Marie Robinson. Number three, sometimes good things fall apart so better things can fall together. Marilyn Monroe. Number four, nothing diminishes anxiety faster than action. Walter Anderson. There are a lot of anxiety, a lot of like, and before, it'll be eating. I would turn into eating, 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 because it gives me pleasure. Not, nothing more than that. Only the time I was eating, of course. But then, when it, I, I just, uh, I change it for exercise now. So there's not, like when, I, when I'm when i really anxious and I, I, or stressed, I wanna go run and I wanna go to the gym and I wanna dance and I I am scared of change. And when I am, I don't fall through and I stop with what I'm doing. And that this article has really made me realize how much I I don't allow my myself shots in life and things like that. Um, all the quotes directly speak to me <laughs> um, about all the chances that I have missed to change. Um, I do believe that journal writing can be amazing aid in life, but I have, a f I've always failed in it, and I start and I stop. And the fear of changing and the fear of retention. I think we actually talked about that at the gym regarding posture and things like that. Um, so I think I have like where that belief comes from is I think that as women sometimes it's been perceived and women can get so catty that an attractive woman who carries herself confidently can be perceived as an arrogant mm -hmm. or like they're self-righteous. Um, so I think I, I worry that that will be a perception that others are looking at me that way. They want to like do this process for me and like get strong and like learn how to, you know, change my mindset um, and I don't know, focus on me and not worry about what others are viewing or thinking. <laughs> so, yeah, that's awesome. Great job, you guys. Honestly, you know what I loved? They're all different. <laughs> so great job. Everyone. Yay. And that's really awesome to really put this time towards yourself. You're here in this moment, and you should really take appreciation for that. So good job. Uh, we're going to play some music and get the booty bands going. Set up. I don't want to show you a workout. I want to teach you what it is that we're doing. I'm going to show you a routine that's super simple that you can do in a backyard in front of a fireplace, right? So always getting warmed up, why? I never want an injury. Do you want an injury? Nobody wants an injury. So it's super important that you're warmed up. Never go into something that's super strenuous. If you know the next move, go into it. Ah, there we go. 
We'll do 10 on each side. Thinking about your oblique and also you're tapping into your glute medius. Yeah. Filling it in your booties. <laughs> We're making them round. Switch to the other side. Let's go into squats. I'm watching your knees. Not that they're doing this. Make sure you're pushing against that band, right? So that's what I'm watching out for. Give me 10. Squeeze your glutes when you come up. Get your breathing on point here. This is if you start holding your breath, you're not gonna last as long. I figured that one out the hard way. Oh yeah. <laughs> so exhale. Alright, jumping jacks and we're done here. So give me 20. Now when you start to feel the back of your neck getting warm, that's when you know you're warmed up. Is that heat. Beautiful. Here's what we're gonna do. It's, all, it's upper body, mid body, lower body. We're all choosing, okay? I'm gonna start. She's gonna go next, 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 next. So we're gonna stay consistent. So this exercise is called a circuit, right? So here's what's easy to remember is you can take this exercise anywhere, okay? When I go out in the park, or when I go to the gym, or behind a fireplace, I think, okay, let's make something up. Thinking about the body parts that are working, you can easily come up with something that's just like that. So, what we're gonna do, total of three rounds, that's it, and we're just gonna stay going into a circle, okay? So I'm gonna start, okay? So, knowing that these chairs are a little flimsy, okay, so don't be like, Go on, completely off balance. You're gonna go ahead and put your hands on the back right here, right on the, uh-huh, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> and here's my tricep routine. So what we're gonna do, bring your booty back towards the chair, good. And we're gonna go ahead and down for eight, seven. And Stacy's taking a more advanced approach, which I like, so more advanced is feet coming out, right? So if you wanna start there, once you do eight, give me a kick and a kick, right? Then we're gonna go to seven. Here we go, stay with me, seven. Once you get to seven, let's kick. Good, we got six, stay with me. Good, are you burning yet? Ah, all right, what's next, five? <laughs> My legs started out further, now they're in the floor. <laughs> this is what's gonna keep that old lady flabby arms away, you guys. If it's getting harder, guess what? Bring those feet in a little bit behind you. That's what's gonna help. What number are we on? Three. Good, Stacy's counting. <laughs> oh yeah. Woo! I'm shaking over here, we got two. Oh. All right, be thinking of your exercise. Stacy's got abs. I'm gonna take a second and stretch my triceps out while Stacy's thinking of the ab exercise. Oh, I love it. I hope you were going there. All right, so number, or are we just going until you stop? 10? I love it. Okay. So then, what do you want to then let's kick out, and now we're on to nine. Really curve your body, almost bring your forehead to your knees. Really squeeze in those abs. Are we opening? I lost count. You're gonna have to keep me on count, you guys. Eight. So what I'm doing is going to the side, tap, center, tap, 
side, tap. How are we counting this? It's her workout. Okay. She's gonna tell us what we're doing. This shows you, you can do this workout on a chair so far, right? Isn't this great? Nice. I love it. Okay. So stay here, uh -huh. open. Go back. You better be trying this. This is an easy workout. All you have to do is a chair. <laughs> and a booty band. Booty band and a fireplace. I'm definitely feeling this. This is an adductor move, by the way. Abductor, ABD. Right? Yeah. Woo! Loved it. Take your band off. Let's do a little stretch in your glutes. So cross that leg over. Lean forward. All right, you're thinking of an arm one. Mm -hmm. So we did triceps. We can one do push-ups. We can turn around on the arm. And if as long as our our shoulders are over our wrists, we can do a great push-up on these. But if our, sh our shoulders are like this, pushing against it, that chair is gonna push, right? Is push up, hop up, grab, reach the chair, down. We're gonna go into a total of eight of those. When we're done, when we're at eight, we're gonna hop out like that, go down to seven, hop out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okie dokie. So starting with, let's go seven first, yep. All right, so push-ups. One push-up, hop up, grab that chair, that's one. Beautiful, down, hop out, push-up, up, two. So I'm gonna walk around. Stacy, show me a modified push-up. If some of the girls at home, perfect. So what she's doing is she's bringing her foot up, still lowering her whole body, yep, perfect. Love them. Okay, make sure you're keeping track. I'm gonna walk around and help form. Perfect. After seven, let's go six. Beautiful push-up. Push-ups are working your core, your chest, your shoulders, biceps, triceps, you're working it all, all upper body. The great. If you have a heavier chair at home, you're definitely gonna feel it a lot more in those shoulders as well. What I'm looking for too, when you do your push-ups, make sure girls that you're not going into a T position. Watch your elbows, you're not here. You're gonna bring them down slightly, okay? So a little bit more down to your rib cage. Beautiful, just like that. There we go. Oh, okay, now they're 100%. Yep. What are you doing afterwards? So you're just hopping like this and then going into the next one, yep.
side to break it up. You're going to do a jumping jack, squat, and we're going to go into six. Cool? All right, let's get that energy up. Here we go. And cross. You guys can remember forever. One, one. Beautiful job. So that was a successful day one where I brought in four girls and we all sat around and discussed how to change your mind to be able to get the results into changing the rest of your life or your body or whatever goals you have. So I was super impressed by the outcome of it. I loved, loved, loved the difference, um, but also the similarities that they all carried. So hopefully there's something that you could also um, identify with and uh, can also help in your journey. So follow us for the next video. It's gonna be day two and we're gonna do goal setting.